Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a Google Workspace account in 2023. Google Workspace is a suite of clouds-based productivity and collaboration tools that can help you streamline your business operations. So in this tutorial, we'll guide you through the steps of creating a Google Workspace account. So make sure to stick by, let's dive right into it and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, let's start by opening whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser and of course in your case you can use any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, make sure to go to the URL section here and simply go to the Google Workspace website. So once you open your browser, of course, you can search for Google uh, Workspace or directly enter this URL, which is going to be workspace.google.com. Or if you don't want to write this, you can simply type like Google Workspace and hit the first link. But if you want to get into it directly, you can simply go and click on that. And that will take you right away to the home screen or main screen. If you have any issue with the language like me, as you can see, it's not English. So you can always scroll down to the bottom. And as you can see, you'll find here an option to change language. Click on it and change the language to whatever you want, depending on whatever suits you. For me, I'm just going to change it into English. And here we are. So, how teams of all size connect, create, and collaborate. A flexible, initiative solution for people and organization to achieve more. So, simply, uh, you will have to go and click on Get Started here at the middle or at the top right corner. From here, it's going to click at any of them. And simply here, as you can see, let's get started. So, let's start by giving them a business name. I'm just going to do something random, of course, for you. Make sure to enter accurate thing and so as you can see a number of employees uh, employees just uh, including you so just you from 2 to 9 10 to 99 100 to kind of 300 and or more than 300 so for me i'm just going to put just you and of course the regions put your region here and simply hit next so what is your contact info you'll be uh, you'll be the google workspace account admin since you are creating the account so simply, I'm just going to put like a random name and a random last name for you. As I said, make sure to enter accurate things, of course, if, especially if you want to make it professional. So here you'll have to enter the current email address. I'm just going to enter mine as an example at gmail.com and simply hit the next button. So does your business have a domain? So you will need a domain like example.com to set up email and the Google Workspace account for your business. So if you have one, you can simply go and click on yes, I have one I can use. But if you don't, if you click at no, I need one, as you can see, let's find the domain name for your business. So you will have to search a domain that reflects your business name or brand. And this professional touch helps you build an online presence. So try searching for your business name. So I'm just going to type something like that. And I'm just going with .com and search. And let's see. So... As you can see, of course, domain name you will have to pay for. So this uh, like name.com or let's just go with tests as example. I'm just going with tests.com and I'm going to search. And as you can see, so just those four are unavailable, but other uh, options here you will be able to get. But of course, you'll need to pay like depending on whatever suits you here. So the euro is just like a dollar. So you can take it as $11 here. Uh, there is no big difference between them. So as an example here, if you want this one, you'll have to pay like $11 uh, dollars per year or this one or this one, depending on whatever suits you. So I'm just going to click on this one as an example. And as an example now, the selected domain name is no longer available. So maybe it's unavailable at the moment. So let's just go for this one. Why not? So here, as you can see, you'll use this domain to set up your workspace, create professional email addresses like sales uh, are at uh, the domain name, uh, of course, and sign in to Gmail Docs, Drive, Calendar, and more, and you'll be able to purchase uh, the domain name after create your Google Workspace account. So if you check this option, of course, that means that you acknowledge that this domain name is not eligible for private registration and that may contact information will be pub publicly associated with this domain. So if you want to use a domain that you already own, you can simply click in here and simply type your domain uh, name right here. 
let's just go with this one as an example and send email to the to this domain name won't be affected until you set up the email with this account so simply if you want to buy a domain of course you can click all also here but for me i'm just going to click on next and as you can see say up to date will send you occasional uh, emails with helpful tips special offers and features uh, and she announcements and invite you to share your thoughts if you want this of course you can simply click on okay but if you don't want them to be annoying for you click on no thanks and as you can see educate your users we'll send your users information about google workspace apps new features and tips to help improve productivity you can out uh, you can stop them at any time so if you want like other people on your google workspace to receive it click on okay if you don't want to click on no thanks so i'm just going to click on no thanks and how you'll sign in you'll simply have to enter the username that you will sign in in with and the password so simply i'm just going to put like uh as example here tests and the password i'm just going to put like some random numbers here uh like this with a letter and of course make sure to check this option that say i'm not a robot and of course by clicking agree and continue you'll agree to google workspace agreements so make sure to read all of them so you'll be aware of everything and of course make sure to even read this supplemental terms and conditions for google workspace free trial agreements so reading this those options of course are very important because you will not uh, so you'll be aware of everything and you will not have any problem with them in the future once you uh, agree click on i agree and continue i'm going to save this to my computer so i don't have to log in always here and normally we're gonna be uh, good to go so click on next and simply i'm not a robot click on next again and i'll have to re-enter the password here wait let me just go and re-enter it and click on next and of course simply i'll have to uh, enter my phone number and of course that's because uh, as they said we've detected unusual activity on this account you're trying to access to continue please follow the instructions so i'll have to enter my phone number of course you'll have to enter your country then you would like to choose if you would like to receive a text image or voicemail enter your uh, phone number click on get code and enter the code that they will send you and you will normally be good to go so after creating your account you'll be able even to change the the plan if you want whenever you want or even choose a plan if you didn't yet and of course you'll be able to customize your account then review everything uh, the selections that you have including the plan business informations and confirm everything then set up your bill then of course even verify your domain ownership and you will be good to go so if you reach this point of this video congratulations you've successfully created your google workspace account in 2023 with your Google Workspace account, you can take advantage of the powerful productivity and collaboration tools offered by Google. So make sure to explore different applications and features available to enhance your business operations. So thank you for watching and enjoy using Google Workspace to boost your productivity and efficiency. So thanks for watching again, and I'll see you in the next video.